Hey, seven millimeter shooters, whichever one you like, forget it. They're gone. There's a new kid on the block. Hornaday has finally released the seven millimeter precision rifle cartridge. Oh my gosh, another seven millimeter. Why? What does this one do that all the rest of them don't? You're about to find out on this episode of Ron Spomer Outdoors. All right, guys, once again, a new cartridge. Do we really need it? No. Do we have it? Yes. What does it do that these others don't? Well, I think precision is the name of the game. Hornady did not set out to design a cartridge that was going to be the fastest 7mm in history. They set out to produce one that is going to be the best balanced, the most accurate, and pretty much ideal for long range target shooting as well as big game hunting. Now, if you know anything about 7mm, you know the 7mm Remington Magnum. It came out in 1962 with the new, at that time, Model 700 rifle, set the world on fire. Everybody loved it. And it went on to have a stellar career and it's still chugging along. One of the best all round cartridges out there. It shoots the same speed as this new PRC. As I said, they didn't set out to make a new speed record. They just went for accuracy. Now, why would this one be more accurate than the 7 Rem Mag? From the get go, they designed this one for optimum accuracy. And that includes not just the shape of the case, but the the chamber in the rifle, that's the big deal. They tightened up the tolerances. So for the SAMI specs on this one, they have got it super tight so everything fits very precisely. Essentially, you've got a match grade chamber in every rifle that is built to SAMI specs. And everyone who builds rifles in the US of A builds them to SAMI specs. And I don't see why the Europeans wouldn't do the same thing. You've got to meet those specifications in order for everything to work right. So the rifles are going to come off the factory lines with essentially match grade barrels. They should shoot accurately, more accurately than any of the other sevens. As far as velocity, as I said, it's the same as the REM mag. So you're pushing a 175 grain bullet around 3,000 feet per second, 2,975, somewhere in that range. You can do that with the 7 rem mag, but you can't get the same high efficiency, high BC bullets as effectively loaded in the 7. And you can see the reason right here. Because they shortened the case, they've got extra length for those long high BC bullets. You put that long high C bullet on this 7 rem mag and you're going to end up pushing it down into the powder supply. Now, would that end up being pretty much the same thing, right? Because you've already lost powder supply by pushing your shoulder back. Ah. You haven't been looking at the width. This guy is fatter. It's 0.532 inch diameter head on it, right up through the body. Whereas this one is quite a bit smaller because of the belt. If we're out here at belt width, it would come pretty close, but it's only 0.513 inches in diameter in the body leading up to the shoulder. So you would, you're having roughly the same powder capacity, a little bit shorter looking case, but the overall length is still standard length action fits into 30 out six length action. So you've got the best of all worlds going here and you don't have the belt to worry about if you're a hand loader. Hand loaders don't like belts because you end up with head separation sometimes. If you don't set up your dies just right, it's a little bit problematic. So it's a darn efficient design. It's got that 30 degree shoulder. It has a 29, a 0.29 inch neck. So you've got essentially caliber neck, which they like to keep your bullets straight, not get canted inside too short of a neck really has all the bells and whistles you want in a well-designed cartridge. And as I said, the match grade chamber is what's really going to make it accurate. The other thing is that long bullet. By twisting that barrel at one and eight or one and seven and a half, maybe even one and seven, I'm not sure what they're gonna come out with, but that's roughly what they're looking at to stabilize what they've got now, which is this one, the 180 grain ELD match bullet. And I think that has a BC rating up there towards 0.796 or something. Crazy high BC. What does that do to improve accuracy at long range? Well, it reduces your wind deflection. Hey, everybody. You heard me mention RonSpomerOutdoors.com on this episode. That is our website where we have in-depth blog reports on things like this. We've got a lot of material in there, so you might want to check it out. It's all free. Can't beat the price. <laughs>
Also, there's RSOTV.com. Now, that is a subscription service, but on there we have videos that we can't necessarily show on these commercial channels. So there's some hunting videos on there and lots of detailed breakdowns of rifles, ballistics and ammo, and lots of shooting and all fun stuff. So you might want to check it out. Ron Spomer Outdoors TV is RSOTV.com. Love to have you. You're going to get little bit less drop because that bullet's not losing its velocity to air drag. So it's got all those advantages of your high BC bullets. Now, if you're a hunter and you're going out to maybe 400 yards, you really get no advantage in the PRC over the 7 rem mag or any of the other 7s really. Uh, so don't fret about that. There's probably a half inch difference in drop and maybe not even that much in windage. So why bother? At 500 yards, maybe there's two inches of difference. If you want to see all of the numbers, go to ronspomeroutdoors.com. I've got a blog I'm just putting out on this cartridge, and I compare it to not just the 7 Rem Mag, but also the 28 Nosler, which is one of the fastest 7 millimeters out there. If you want speed, that's where you look. But this one hangs in there pretty well, and you can see those drop and drift differences. It definitely wins the deflection contest it deflects the least in the wind. Even the 28 Nosler can't keep up with it, unless you load the same bullet on it. But of course, this is a 180 grain Hornaday bullet. Um, I don't think there's a hunting bullet in the Nosler line. That's 180 grains. They do have a 185 grain um, target bullet, which would keep up with this. The problem with the 28 Nosler, of course, is its volume. Where is that guy? This looks like him. And the volume on that one is such that you're going to be burning out your barrels a little bit sooner than these other two, and you're gonna have more recoil. And for a hunting cartridge, that is not a problem. And I think that's why Nosler designed this. They designed this thing for hunting. So if you want the fastest 28 for hunting, that'll push 175 grain bullet at 3,200 feet per second. That's your baby or the seven rum, Remington Ultra Magnum. Both of those big guys will do the job for you. But most of us are satisfied with the performance of the 7 Rem Mag are going to like this PRC because it's doing the same thing in the hunting fields. The nice thing about it is that if you want to also do some steel plate shooting out to 1,000 yards or farther, this one gives you a distinct advantage, definitely. And you're going to get factory ammunition that's ready to roll. With the 7 Rem Mag, you would probably have to load your own with these high BC bullets. You're just not going to get that in the factory load. Now, I had the privilege of shooting some prototypes last summer down at the FTW Ranch, and the, it really was living up to its potential. And they advertised it at 2,875 feet per second, and that's what it was doing. We were shooting out to 600 yards, 800 yards, 1,000. We just stretched it out to 1,600 and consistently hitting our targets. And then we decided to get crazy and go for a mile. And we got there. I think I hit, once we got dialed in, I hit two or three out of four or five. I can't remember now what it was, but it just, you know, just to prove a point, you can shoot far with the darn things. I did it. I, I'm no extreme range shooter, but it is kind of fun to launch a bullet a mile away and actually hit what you're aiming at. Now, I got to admit the target was two feet by four feet, but I hit it. But, you know, the closer targets inside of a thousand yards, you're shooting some fairly small plates and consistently clanging them, and it is, it's really a treat. Now, you're going to burn your barrel out a little faster with this thing than something like a 6.5 Creedmoor. But if you really want to reach out there and be effective and minimize your wind deflection, this 180 grain bullet in that Hornet to ELD match will do it for you with this velocity. You really don't need more velocity. And with these bigger cases, of course, you're going to be burning your barrels out sooner. All those features, I think, just put this guy right in the middle of the pack. And that's why I think it's going to be successful. Now, if you're like a lot of us who are saying enough with the new cartridges, superfluous, we don't need them, we have what we need, great. Stick with what your old 7 millimeters do because they've proven themselves over the decades. They can handle it. But if you're new to the game, or if you just like to try the latest and greatest, and you want the most efficient and effective long-range target cartridge, this would be the one to get. And it will double beautifully as a hunting cartridge. You can buy it for either purpose. It's going to serve and serve darn well. But you can't argue when somebody designs something this precisely, and builds rifles and ammunition that precisely, it's going to do pretty much 
what the 6.5 Creedmoor and the 300 PRC and the 6.5 PRC have done. Uh, just the most efficient and consistently accurate factory loaded cartridge and rifle out there. So if you're a seven millimeter fan, I think you do want to give the seven millimeter PRC a careful look. Yes, it's redundant in many ways, but it sort of sets a high bar in many others. And that's my story on the uh, seven millimeter PRC cartridge. I uh, trust you'll send in some comments and let me know what you think about this whole idea. And if you've shot it, I'd like to hear what your results have been. I think it's gonna be a barn burner on the target range. This is Ron Spomer. Thanks for listening on Honest and Shoot Straight.